Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Tanya Kendall and I love sheet masks. Today we're going to do a new one. Uh, Palmers have brought out, I believe it's their first ever sheet mask. I'm not sure, don't quote me. But they have brought out two sheet masks. One is a hydrating coconut water sheet mask and the other one are, I believe is a um, detoxifying one. I'm not sure it wasn't for me so um, I haven't tried it I'm not gonna do a review on it because it just doesn't work well for my skin I know they don't but I'll put a picture up here for you and so they do have two new ones and uh, or two new uh, two masks to their brand so I'm very very excited about this now I do want to tell you that I actually have used it before so it's not going to be a first impression um, my recording didn't work out and so I'm coming back and actually I think it's fantastic that it didn't work out because what I missed in that original video is what my skin felt like the next day. So if you're interested, this is the mask that I'm going to be talking to you about. Like I said, it's from Palmas. It's a coconut oil formula with vitamin E and um, it's a hydrating sheet mask. So if you want to know what it looks like, what it feels like, any reactions or any more information, stay tuned. Welcome back guys. Like I said, for those who are new, my name is Tanya. I talk about everything to do with beauty. I do reviews, whether the, I like the product, whether I don't like the product. And um, yeah, if you want to check me out, go ahead and um, push the subscribe button um, or just go have a look at the other videos that I make and see if you're into it. And if you are, great, subscribe. Don't forget to check the bell, otherwise you're not going to get notified of any new videos that I do post. So anyway, let's get on to this. So as I said, this is the Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula with Vitamin E hydrating sheet mask what a name um i love the packaging that's cute absolutely love it so let's do a little bit of a read it says that it's hypoallergenic dermatologist tested fair trade coconut oil so it says the uh, palmer's coconut water sheet mask combines combines naturally skin friendly coconut water hyaluronic acid and chamomile to drench the skin in hydration for a radiant healthy looking glow it has coconut water, which gives the skin instant moisture boost. It has hyaluronic acid, which replenishes and revitalizes skin. And it has chamomile extract, which soothes and comforts skin. And I like everything what I'm hearing, you know. Everything that I'm reading, I absolutely love the idea of that. I even liked the idea that it was coconut. And I'm not a huge fan of coconut. It has to be the right coconut. Like, I like the smell of rumbles and, um, oh... I like cherry ripe, like the smell of the coconut in the cherry ripe and stuff like that, but that um, chemical sort of, uh, what do you call it, suntan lotion, no, yeah, yeah, tanning lotion, I, mm -mm, yeah, I don't, I don't dig that. What I can tell you before I even try this on is that this is not my favourite scent, and when I heard that Palmer's had brought out a sheet mask, I was really, really hoping that it was going to be their cocoa butter formula, because I think that is... I would have loved for it to be the cocoa butter formula. I don't know if you've smelt it, but um, I have other products that have the, with the cocoa butter formula, I have this moisturizer. Love, love, love this. It's got SPF in it as well. I've got their ultra hydrating serum. Also the cocoa butter formula. Fantastic. I even have cleansing makeup remover that's in the cocoa butter. So when I heard that they brought a mask out, I really hope it hoped that it was going to be in the cocoa butter formula because that's orgasmic I love it and I think that it would have been for me a lot better than the coconut um, scent in this I don't like it I think it's too heavily um, chemical based and it's just not my favorite but at the end of the day if the product works I can get over the smell so what else can we say it's got one mask um, it's got no parabens, no phthalates, phthalates, I'll put the word up there, no gluten, no mineral oil, no sulfates, no dyes, and it has hyaluronic acid, which we've already covered. So pretty much what you do is you unfold it, which I had difficulties doing the first time, it was like, it was like compact. And then you stick it on the skin, smooth over the contours of the face, relax for 10 minutes, remove the mask and moisturize the leftover comp moisture uh, rub in 
the leftover product on your face and I I like that about sheet masks. I don't like to put a mask on and then wash it off. I feel like it almost undoes everything that you've just done. So I think that that's absolutely fantastic. What I will say is when I first used this mask, um, I had a lot of difficulty. Um, the mask, the picture of the mask, as you can see there, the way that it looks on the packet is not the way that it actually looks when you get it out and I'm about to show you but if I look like an awkward octopus everywhere it's just because I find it very difficult to put on I think that the mask is quite large um, obviously to accommodate for other people and it has some features in it that I wasn't expecting and I wasn't I didn't even know what they were but um, I do now I reckon we should try it on right let's get to it all right there we go just ripped off the top comes in like that it's pretty well drenched. It's um, it's not as drenched as some of the other ones that I have tried. So now we've got to find the edges, which I struggled with last time. I don't want to rip it. There we go. We'll open her up. And this is the fun part. Now, like I said, when I was talking about the scent, it's not horrible. It's not the worst thing I've ever smelled. It is strong, so if you're a little bit sensitive to smell, this might not be fantastic for you. Right, so that's what she looks like. A little bit of a ghost mask here. Flip her around. It's got all these little flaps that I'm not sure if you can see, but let's stick her on anyway. All right, I've got to try and make sure that my hair is not in the way because, like I said, this mask is quite large for my face shape, and I thought I had quite a big face, actually, but we'll, we'll see. Here we go. <laughs> now, I almost look like an animal with these ears. All right, let's stick that on there. I'm just gonna use my mirror for a minute. Just so we can make sure we get it all in the right places. There's that little flap. Okay, so it is currently sitting in my hair, but if I don't have it, I'm gonna fold the edges over because if I bring the mask down any lower, it's not going to sit where my eyes are. Alright, we're going to bring that up a little bit. Going to bring that up. And we're going to just... Oh, that feels nice. It really, really does feel nice going on. Alright, let's just smooth those. Oh. Now, I'm probably making this look really, really awkward. For me, it is. Now, let's put that down. It's got all the... <laughs> it looks like Michael Myers. Is it Michael Myers? No, Jason. Oh, whatever. Um, <laughs> it's got these flaps here. So, um, I guess they're eye adjustment flaps that I found out. Well, somebody's calling them eye adjustment flaps. So, I'm just going gonna, just gonna to put that where I think it's supposed to go. I also think that, I don't know, if you're doing like, you know, real bougie kind of facial, you could probably close your eyes and just put that over there and it'll be, I don't know, it doesn't say anything about it. I just know that it's different and I wasn't expecting it. I find this mask really, really difficult to put on in comparison to some of the other masks that I really enjoy using. And, um, and I think that for a first attempt, it is what it is but I think maybe this mask needs to come in two parts like the top part and then the bottom part if they want to accommodate for all face shapes and stuff like that I think I think it's definitely going to need to come in two parts um, but it just doesn't work for me um, I love the way that it feels on me it feels moisturizing it feels hydrating um, yeah but anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this on for 10 minutes if I have any reactions which I didn't the first time, you'll see them here. If I'm going to react to something, and I generally will if it's really heavily scented or it's got something in there that my skin doesn't like. I have reacted before with something that's had hyaluronic acid in it before. It was not good. It wasn't a mask. Um, it was a moisturizer. Um, and 
I'm, I'm thinking that it wasn't the hyaluronic acid. I think it might have been something else that was in there. But this is what happened. And this is why you should always, always, always do a spot test on things first. It took me a couple of weeks to fix my skin after that had happened. It might not look as bad to you in the photos. But it was horrible. I broke out. It was really, really bad. And then after that, my skin dried out. It cracked. It peeled. It was just a hot mess. If something's going to happen, you're going to see it. So, alright. I'll be back in ten minutes. Alright guys, I'm back. And as you can see, this I left it on. I hate it. But I left this bit on. I'm gonna take it off now, okay? I, I can't I can't do this anymore. Alright, here we go. Alright, hopefully no reactions. So now we just take the mask off and then we just rub in the leftover product. This is nice. I like this. This is the way that they should all be, sheet masks and you know stuff like that, like hydrating masks, you should just be able to rub it in. So there we go, there's no visible changes in my skin as in um, blemishes or you know anything like that, blotchy patchiness or anything. Um, it, my skin feels fantastic and like I said, being able to try this um, once before, the next day my skin was just it was phenomenal like it's usually pretty good anyway with the combination that I use in my um, daily uh, skincare routine but this just put it on another level it's not my favorite yeah but I mean I absolutely love Palmer's products I, I I own many of them I will continue to purchase them it's affordable I got this from um, I got the first one from chemist warehouse and I got the second one from Priceline. So basically any drugstore, pharmacy or anything like that would sell them. Um, I believe it's $4.99 Australian. Um, I got one of them for $4 because it was on special. It's cheap. Like, I mean, if we're talking about full price, $5 for a mask, it's pretty good. Um, in comparison to the one that I really, really like is uh, $10.00. When it's not on special, I mean, I'll always wait for it to go on special, but I love that one. And, um, yeah, I don't have too much bad to say about this. I think it's a fantastic start, and I don't think it's a horrible product, but I think that it does need a few, um, a few tweaks to make it a perfect product. And I really hope that they continue making more sheet masks. I would, I would, I really, 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 really hope that um, they bring out the Cocoa Butter Formula one, because I would definitely try that, even if they haven't changed the way that they do the um, actual mask itself. But um, I think it's a great product, guys. And it, you should go out and try it yourself. Form your own opinion, but you've seen what, at least you know what kind of mask it is, how it's going to apply, um, yeah, so if you liked what you saw, please go ahead, give me a thumbs up, it allows other people to be able to see this video, um, and get an idea for themselves whether or not they'd like it or not, and, um, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead, if you're interested, click the subscribe button, but please don't forget to check the bell, because if you don't check the bell, you're not going to be updated regularly when I do upload a video, which is usually once or twice a fortnight at the moment. If you've tried this and you've had a different result or you don't like it, you love it, whatever, I would love to hear from you. And, um, yeah, go ahead, leave me a comment below. And, um, yeah, until then, guys, take it easy. Bye.